what's notable about Pesach Sheni, um, the aspect of being able to have a redo, being, to, that a Kodesh Baruch understands that because it's so important to be enabling you to have a second chance, um, is also plays a role as we have this week, um, that Lag Omer comes up as well. And the famous question that's asked is that, why is Lag Omer such a wonderful celebration that, uh, you know, now that haircutting is going to be permitted, that we went from mourning to rejoicing to music and the like, so the answer given, well, because Rabbi Kiva's students stopped dying. So stopping to die is not necessarily the most exciting uh, time to be able to rejoice. We have one other time when we do actually praise Hashem for people stopping to die or for a calamity to ending. That's the bracha of Atova Meitiv, the bracha, the last bracha and benching that we had opportunity to actually bury the Jews that were killed in Betar. But here, it seems that the whole reason why we're celebrating Lag Vomer, outside of the concepts of Kabbalah, Rav Shem Bayuchai, from the basic understanding of the Gemara, is because they stopped dying. And that's an obvious question, like, we're not really going to celebrate that, we'll be happy, we'll be at peace with that, but it's not something that we're now going to have music. And if you think of all the rejoicing that people do on Lag Vomer, they're not thinking, wow, people stopped dying. They must be thinking of some type of simcha that actually exists at that point. So what is the simcha that exists? So the Prichadish explains that the simcha, the rejoicing that we have at Lagba Omer, is not about the negative that stopped, but ra- rather what happened now is that Rabbi Akiva is able to find a new set of Talmudim to be able to start over again. So what Lagba Omer represents outside the world of Kabbalah, Lagba Omer represents a new period of time where Torah is going to be rejuvenated and there's going to be new rejoicing for this, for this existence of the new element of Torah to be spread through his few Talmudim that he was able to find and teach. And that's why it's a time of rejoicing. So it's about the concept of renewal. It's, it is a second chance again. Even though 24,000 students of Rebbe Kiva had died, but now a new opportunity exists. And that's how Rebbe Kiva was able to see it, that a new opportunity exists, that we can now teach Torah and disseminate Torah again. So this is also similar to Pesach Sheni, that opportunity that even though a person couldn't, but they can now begin again to be able to offer that sacrifice, to be able to devote themselves to Hashem. That is the concept of second chances. So both within the same week, we have this opportunity to be able to start anew. And any time you have an opportunity to start anew is a time for rejoicing as well.